we're gonna do some interim, so to speak. I'm going to black out my bumper. Let me try this stuff. Matte black, rust oil and peel and coat. Reliable rubber coating. We're gonna test it out and if we don't like it, we're just gonna peel it off like we did that vinyl. Look at somebody over at Moe's. People I mean, are showing out. Yeah, that mug is clean, ain't it? Got a serious update for you guys. Tell I'm on my bike. Riding around, getting a little exercise before I put in work on the vehicle. But having a truck is amazing because you can do a lot of things with it, you know. Not only driving a big thing, but you can haul a lot of stuff in it, you know. This is my first time having one, so I'm really enjoying the aspects of being a truck owner. If you haven't done so, hit that like button and subscribe. I'm Mr. Tulip with his fresh looks with some more modifications on my Silverado. I'm out here enjoying the sunlight with my sons. They're on their bikes and scooters. I'm on my bike as well. Before I get my wheel package, and funny story about my wheel package that I ordered that you guys are waiting on and that me specifically wanted to do the order at night. When I did that, hoo hoo. Man, I had all the tabs up, had it ready to go. Ordered it, pushed that button. So yeah, that's the one. I can't wait for them to see it. But lo and behold, after I made the purchase and reviewed the order, <clears throat> it was two similar wheels. And my son's in the background. 21, get your exercise on if you haven't did that. Got the exercise, got to keep the body right, keep it tight. And if you're over 30, got to stay healthy some type of way. And today, while I'm waiting on the wheels, let me finish that story. The wheel story is, to make a long story short, I ordered my, my tires, my all-terrain tires. Actually, I got hybrids, all-terrain and mud. And uh, those were perfect. But the wheels I had, I had ordered. I reviewed my order and it said it was on its way. I saw that the boat pattern for the particular wheel that I did order didn't match my vehicle. So I had to contact the company really quick and <laughs> replace the wheels that I initially ordered. So that's what's the delay. I got the wheels going right now. So they're still on the way. When you're purchasing your wheel packet online like I did, sure before you hit transmit or enter or order, make sure it's the right setup for your particular truck. Okay, Jeep, whatever you got, uh, make sure it's right. So, cause it'll delay your I think my little mistake cost me 10 days of delay. Yeah, I'm hot. I'm hot at myself, but uh, yeah. Maybe I got my stuff, what I'm talking about in here. Let me try this stuff. Matt Black. Rust oil and peel and coat. Reliable rubber coating. We're gonna see how that turns out. On it. I'm just trying to balance out the chrome. I want a little chrome, just a dab. Um, you know, just get a dab of this at the bottom because the bottom is matte black. 
then it slowly transitions into gloss black. But if I get this matte black finish at the bottom right, it'll blend in correctly. And then the very bottom where the toe hooks in the fog light is, I'ma chrome that out. The peel and coat matte black finish that I'ma put on that bumper. We're gonna test it out. And if we don't like it, we're just gonna peel it off like we did that vinyl. And also too, we got that caliper paint project we got to do. I'ma see if I can fit all this in this week in as a filler while I'm waiting on my wheel entire packet set up so stay tuned see that's what's so wonderful about having your own vehicle your truck you could try anything when you are the owner you can modify your vehicle how you want it to be modified man nobody tell you nothing it's your vehicle so modify it like you want to yeah some naysayers gonna say ah oh, don't do that don't do it this do it that way man live your life as a uh, matter of fact let me pause for a second. Auto for 21 is go get it. And what that means is whatever you want in life, go get it. Because you never know when it's your time to go. So go get it. By any means necessary, do it. Legally, of course. But go get that dream job. Dream car, if it's a dream truck, whatever your dream, what, if it's a dream house, go get it. I took off, if you watch some of my previous videos, I, I did the vinyl uh, chrome delete, but this time I did a different technique. I utilized a spray and I didn't use plastic dip. Nope, I use Rust-Oleum's peel coating. And I'm pretty much almost through with it. I'm, I'm within the last few minutes of it. I, I did it right after I got off work today. And, and, and um, it's at night, you know. Uh, we're gonna see how it really looks in the daytime, in the morning. But I'm, I believe I'm pretty much done just by looking at it. I've done probably eight coats of it, you know, waiting 20 minutes in between the, the coating process. Looks pretty good. It's a matte black. If I'm not satisfied with this, I could always peel it off. That's why it's called peel, Rust-Oleum peel and coat. You know, if I don't like it, peel it off. Just like the vinyl, you know. And, and then I try a different process to coordinate it and get a balanced look on the front grill. You know, because I still want the accent of chrome. I don't want it totally midnight black all the way around. I like the accent of the chrome. I like the accent of the red on the, uh, you know, toe hooks. I like the accent of the trail boss red and black on the side of the vehicle on the profile. So yeah, I'm trying to make sure it's right and get it just the way I like it. So yeah, check it out. Uh, it's night, it's probably 10 o'clock down here, close to it out. It looks pretty good, you know. The key is to see how it looks in the daytime, but I believe it's gonna look fine. Up close and personal, it looks really nice, you know. Coordinated with the black right here, you know. Easy to touch. You got a fine, uh, look on it, you know. I had it taped out with regular tape that you paint with, and I had my plastic over here, so I had everything wrapped right. I just had to do some fine tuning. We'll see how it look in the daytime in the AM. What's up everybody? It's Luka coming to you with a daytime reveal of new bumper that we installed last night after work. First time looking at it in the light. And I wanna see how successful we was. I believe we were successful. From the aspects of looking at it right now, it was a straight success. The Rostolium peel and coat did its job. Man, pillable rubber coating, and it did its thing. All I did was have to mask it off like I was regular painting around the house or whatnot, taped it off, 
and did like, I think I did around roughly eight to nine coats uh, streaming through it, you know, making sure I got everything, hit everything right. But it's exactly what I wanted. And just looking at it, man, I'm, I'm really happy with the results. And it's temporary. And the thing is, if I don't like it, after a while, I could always take it off. It's, this still gonna be chrome underneath there. And it's, and it's beautiful, baby. It looks just like it came like that. What? Can you imagine? Woohoo! I love it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wait till you see. Wait till you see what I'm talking about. Let's look. See, look at it. Look how nice and clean and perfect that looks. Right up here, I'm, I'm like stoked at how it turned out. It made me take two looks, just like I got my two fingers on here. You know, you can see, see just the pureness of it. Man, I'm like, wow. Wow, 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 wow. I'm, I'm happy with it. Here's a up and close personal look at it. Right above the toe hook. Look at it. That matte, that matte black on it. It looks like it came like that, y'all. Looking at it every angle. And it's matching the uh, Nerf bars or the running boards. You know, that. Mm. What you say, mission accomplished? I say mission accomplished. What? I can see it at night because the truck is dirty. But there it is. We got that matte black subdued out.